Hello, my name is Kamran Etemak, and in this short video, I'm introducing a new course that we've added in the ENPN or MAGE program, ENPN 818V, titled 5G Advanced Communication Networks and Devices, System Designs and Protocols. Before we talk about the course, a quick background on myself. I've graduated from University of Maryland with master's and PhD in 1996 in communication systems. And ever since I've been involved in different course teaching and development projects with university on a part-time basis with focus on wireless communication systems. Outside university, I worked for different companies, including Hughes Network Systems, Nextel Communication, Intel, and most recently with Federal Communication Commission. And throughout my career, I've been involved in a number of different technology and standard developments in IEEE and 3GPP, and most recently, 4G and 5G standards. Our motivation to create this course is increasing importance of 5G systems and their footprints in the industry. 5G standards are now not only the de facto technology for all the mobile and fixed uh, mobile broadband networks across the globe, but also they found applications in a number of new verticals, including machine type communications and Internet of Things of different sorts. There are three major use cases in 5G, enhanced mobile broadband, which are high data rate transmissions that we use for uh, handsets, smartphones and laptops. And in addition, 5G systems are designed to enable ultra reliable and low latency communication, which are important for some of the new verticals, such as uh, vehicle or communication, mission critical application, and some of the industrial IoT use cases. And the third use case is massive machine type communication, being able to provide uh, machine type communication with high density of deployment of such devices in a network. As we evolve 5G and 5G advance into 6G, we expect the same trends to continue. And we will be introducing new capabilities, including integrated sensing and communication, and using AI and machine learning into improvements in the device and network operations. To provide students with a complete background on necessary technologies that we are involved in the, in the upcoming applications, we will start with LTE and we will talk about the design of LTE and the changes in the LTE design to enable machine type communication in LTEM by enabling power saving and long range uh, capabilities. And then we will talk about 5G NR, 5G new radio. We spent quite a bit of time on 5G new radio and the variation in 5G new radio, which are used for red cap devices, reduced capability devices, which have additional IoT applications. These group of technologies can be used for different types of IoT use cases and deployment. Some broadband, some narrowband, some mission critical, some private, some public, and they involve different types of devices, vehicles, UAVs, trains, satellites, sensors, robots, there are all kinds of different uh, devices and embedded systems which can benefit from 5G systems and technologies of different sort. To provide a complete background for the students, we will structure the course into two parts. In the first part, I provide the uh, foundational discussions and review of, of different technologies, core technologies, including LTE, LTEM, and then 5G new radio with details across different layers in terms of architecture, protocols, channelization, resource allocation, and all kinds of signaling needed for synchronization, power saving, and mobility. As we develop that background in the first part of the course, the students will be uh, uh, coach to work on their project in the second half of the semester and present their reports to the students with a lot of group discussions. And those uh, uh, discussions will 
covers some of the verticals and advanced features, including narrowband IoT, enhanced positioning, multicast and broadcast capability, site link communication for vehicular communication and other applications, the use of 5G and R in non-terrestrial networks, including UAVs and satellites, and also 5G deployment in unlicensed and shared spectrum. We hope that with this structure, students would get exposed to all the theoretical and, and practical applications of 5G and understand the trade-offs in using different technologies for different engineering assignments in their career. Thank you for your attention.